Oh my god, I haven't done this in so long. This actually feels... I'm actually a little nervous. I... Uh, it's okay. I've done this many times before. Um, it's just been a long time. Hi guys! <laughs> so, where have I been? Um, unlike... Oh, look, I've usually got a script and I usually go through... Well, not a script, I've usually got some talking points. Um, I'm just going to wing this one, just trying to explain where I've been because I've tried to write this down a thousand times and then I turn into waffle. I'm probably still going to turn into waffle, but here we go. So my absence has been completely unplanned. It started all one shiny morning when I went to boot up my computer and I copped this. <sighs> the blue screen of death. No, nothing, no symptoms leading up to the cause of death. Just straight, complete loss of life. I tried everything to fix my old computer. We went back to... Oh, I messed around for so long. And I lost so many files. I do have a few clips of a piece that I was working off that I will insert here. And it's probably one of my favourite pieces. And I'm not going to get to share with you. Um, but yeah, so my old PC just packed it in one day. Just legs up gone and it was like an all-in-one type computer so like honestly there's not really much you can do with these things they're they're pretty much <laughs> uh, throwaway items anyway um unfortunately i was working in aged care and for many of you who may <laughs> uh, be aware that's a pretty shit paying job um so Getting a new computer just straight off the bat was not on the cards. This was going to take a few weeks to recover. So I kind of got out of the habit of filming. Okay, so that's all right. We'll get the computer and we'll start up again. No, no problems. I've, I've got in my mind we're just taking a brief holiday. Uh, put up some posts letting everybody know what was going on. And yeah, we'll just move on. I'll, I'll go find myself a new computer and we'll get... Yeah, um, that didn't happen. That took a very, very, very long time for me to get that new computer. And the one that I have purchased is a bit crap. But, but you know, that's okay. Like, as you've seen from many of my videos, I'm a really big proponent of using what you've got to the best of its ability. Like, we don't all have um, piles of money to replace these things or to buy art supplies or fancy things. So I was just going to use it as I, as I, as best I could. Um... Unfortunately, in that time of taking that time off, I I started to doubt myself. I started to not really like the art that I'd been making. I I was looking at it and just thinking, oh, this is really this is really just basic, and and it's I'm just copying things, and like a lot of self doubt started to come into my head. Instead of just creating and making things, I I just I stopped. I just stopped and it was like a part vid, making the videos was a part of the process of making the artworks for me and with that video making element gone I'd kind of lost the drive to make the artwork and and that sounds a little bit I'm not I don't make these things just to show off to other people I the video making is a part of me telling the story behind the artwork it's it's for me as as much as it is for any audience and without that element of me just talking it through and and it just it just kind of felt a bit empty and I just kind of stopped doing it and to be fair I was working in my role in aged care it was a very highly creative position I was working um, as some of you might know like in a diversional therapy role where I would go to work nine to five and I would be expected to put on a show singing dancing art everything just so maybe at the end of the day I was coming home a bit drained of my creative abilities but I just I just stopped doing it um and that, and look, that's, I didn't stop doing everything. I actually, in this time that I'd put down the pencils, I'd learnt to crochet. Um, <laughs> and maybe got a little bit obsessive about that. I'll put up some pictures of some things that I've made <laughs> in that time. So it's not like I was sitting there not doing anything, but it's just that that creative energy was going in towards doing, the, like, playing with textiles instead of putting art on the page. 
but I've come to a point where I really miss it. I miss having a uh, work on the go on the table. I miss having something in my head ready to go and coming up next. So it's time to pick up the tools. And it feels strange. Like, honestly, it feels strange to be setting up for the artwork. It feels strange to pull the pencils out and to be turning on the lights and turning on the cameras and getting everything up. And it feels definitely strange talking back into the microphone. <sighs> <laughs> I've rehearsed this, this little spiel so many times in my head over the last few months, just trying to get back into it. I hope I've said everything I wanted to say. I think I have. Anyway, <laughs> I should talk about this artwork. So this magpie is actually a reference picture was taken from a pair of female magpies that visit my house daily. Uh, these guys are down at seven o'clock in the morning. I am a little naughty. I do feed them a few treats, but uh, look, I usually pick some bugs out of the garden for them and these guys are very, very happy. We get the full magpie song. Magpies are a little bit of a, the, what are they? they're the danger bird <laughs> in Australia and in springtime the males will fuck you up. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> but this pair is absolutely lovely and um, so I took some pictures while they were sitting in my yard and the gum leaves around them are very very heavily inspired by the uh, gum leaves that I drew in a very very early piece I think 2016 of a kookaburra that I drew which is easily easily my highest selling print there's something about that where it wasn't as realistic as I would normally aim for, um, but there is something about that piece that seems to resonate with people. So I thought I'll just step back a little bit from trying to be absolutely perfect and trying to be extremely realistic. And why don't just try, just trying to represent something. So I've got a little bit of a mix in this piece where I've worked quite hard to render this magpie in all of her magnificent detail. And uh, the gum leaves are just gum leaves. I didn't use a reference picture. I just drew some gum leaves. <laughs> and uh, hopefully that mix is worth... I actually really like this piece. So I do have more works in the on the board now I, I seem to be getting back into the rhythm and it and it just it feels really good it feels good I, I feel like I'm getting back to where I should be so okay so for a little bit of housekeeping obviously in my hiatus I did discontinue my patreon page um, and I don't feel bad about that uh, in that time I did realize that I actually feel really bad about taking people's money on a regular basis it's just that it set up that expectation that I really felt like there is literally no amount of content that I could make for somebody that would make it worthwhile them just chucking me money every month so I have set up a coffee account so if there is anything that you have found in any of my tutorials or something really resonates with you, then feel free to buy me a coffee, throw me a couple of bucks. I will be uploading a lot of my old Patreon content for people just to check out over there, but that's going to be completely free for anybody to watch. Honestly, it's going to be, if you feel like chucking me a couple of bucks, then do it. Like busking. And I feel so much better about that. Just on a, on a spiritual level, I feel better about taking money from people for that. So here's the final piece. And I actually really like how this one turned out. It's it's just, it's got everything I kind of had planned in my head. And it the two elements work really well together. And I'm really, really stoked. It makes me feel much better to get back on the horse this way. And while we're speaking of getting back up on the horse, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm not going to edit this, so there may be a lot of ums and ahs in this. I'm just going to just slap this back up there. This is my way of just getting back up and creating stuff. It's just, I'm not going to think it through too much. I'm not going to mess around too much. I'm just going to get back up there because I've really missed you guys. And it feels really good to be back in the chair. So. Okay, until then, do all those fun YouTube-y things like all the like and subscribe and bell things, whatever. 
and I'll see you again really soon. Bye guys.